glad you could join us for the second annual Student Voter Registration Day, SBRD 2016. This year, New Yorkers will be making critical choices in the 2016 elections. These will make and change our city for decades to come. And it's very important that we join in the voices of our very youngest in our city. So Student Voter Registration Day is going to make a big difference in the lives of our city and the people who live here. This election is too important to let the next generation of voters sit it out. But the turnout in recent elections highlights the urgency of this task. This Friday, March 18th, the SBRD Coalition will fan out to more than more schools than ever before. Last year we had 16 schools, 15 to 16 schools, and this year we're over 60 schools. And we will now bring this message to over 20,000 students. It's a message that helps students connect the issues in their lives about voting and civic participation. Do you care about the cost of a metro card? Do you want to get out and vote on the issues that matter to you? Are you worried about the cost of college tuition? These are some of the ways that we can teach our young people to advocate for themselves. The students will have the opportunity to register to vote and they'll be asked to sign a civic engagement pledge to work to improve their communities. And those students turning 18 before the presidential primary will also be registered to vote and be able to cast their ballot on April 19th. Now, to talk about some of these wonderful people standing here, we have actually over 40 community-based organizations who have been so strong, working so hard, and have joined us and are committed to helping to making our youngest voters aware and engaged. In particular, I want to thank Schools Chancellor Carmen Farina for believing in this vision and for sending this nonpartisan message directly to the students and their families. And to Stephen Choi from the New York Immigration Coalition for bringing us together with all of these fabulous community-based organizations. And each of them will be running the schools on Friday. Thank you. And to Council Member Helen Rosenthal. This is a special thank you because Council Member Rosenthal conceived of this idea and brought it and birthed it. <laughs> and we are so happy that she gathered all of us together as critical parts to make this happen. So, at this point, I would like to ask you to welcome Chancellor Farina to the podium. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is actually a privilege for me because for many of you may not know, but I'm a social studies person and I believe that we don't learn from history we're doomed to fail over and over again. And democracy is a privilege and it needs to be earned. To me, it's always been a little embarrassing on how few people vote in this country. You know, there are countries around the world where actually you get docked a day's pay if you don't vote when elections take place on Sunday, so no one has any excuse. So I really thank Councilwoman Rosenthal for her initiative in this. I would like to see this expanded. All our students need to stop complaining about what's wrong. Yes. We need to figure out about how they make it right. And this is the first step because I see civic engagement starting in kindergarten. We actually have curriculum civic starting to now, you can make sure it's implemented in practice. So I want to say thank you. I am 100% behind this initiative, and I just want to make sure that we get all those people voting, because if there's any year that we need voters, this yeah. is it. That's right. Y yo creo que es muy importante que la gente sepa que si queremos una democracia... 
importancia que tenemos que votar y implantar en nuestra región de la manera en que importa más que nada. Y este año es aún más importante que otros años. So, muchísimas gracias. everybody. Steve Choi of the New York Immigration Coalition and let me just say how proud I am to be standing here with some of our amazing partners. Are we excited for student voter registration? Yeah! yeah! We're going to get out there and get every student registered to vote. Yeah! yeah! We're going to get everybody registered to vote. Yeah! yeah! So we at the New York Immigration Coalition are so proud to be standing here with so many of our amazing partners. First and foremost, New York City Votes and the Campaign Finance Board. Onita has played such a straight, such a great leadership role in making sure that Student Voter Registration Day has been such a success. And of course, DOE and the City Council as well. We as the New York Immigration Coalition are proud to play a leadership role. And as Onita mentioned, we're going to be working with 40 organizations going into every single neighborhood all across the city. Every single City Council District will be working with our partners many of whom are here today. But the reason we're doing this is because nothing less than the city's political future is at stake. There are too many barriers to voter registration. There's a lack of information, there's voter apathy, there's arcane rules. And what we've ended up with is that 13% of this city's population voted in the last election. That's not good enough. And 11%, even worse, 11% of the city's youth voted in the last election. That's not good enough either. One out of every 10 youth are voting in this city. We've got to change it. That is a problem. That is a voting rights crisis right there. But Student Voter Registration Day can change that narrative. We can get out there. We can engage these youth. And the vast majority of these youth are youth of color. They're black. They're Latino. They're Asian. They're Muslim. They represent the whole diversity of New York City. We need to engage them, and we have a chance to do that. We have a chance to get them, refer the voices that want to suppress them, tell them that their votes don't matter and that their voices don't count. We can change that narrative. We can send a message to the Donald Trumps of the world that the black, Latino, Asian, white Muslim voters, that we are the ones that make New York City and this country great. Isn't that right? did and had this vision about Student Voter Registration Day and what it could be. And this Friday we're going to be out there because of our vision reaching 20,000 youth all across this city. She represents the Upper West Side, but she's thinking about the entire New York City neighborhoods. Please join me in welcoming Ellen Rosenthal. Thank you. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am to be here and to be surrounded with such amazing partners. To have 40 organizations, nonpartisan organizations, going into over 60 schools to help 20,000 young people register to vote and get them to vote in this year's primary and presidential election. I could not have dreamed that it would grow this fast and this well, and it wouldn't have happened without these amazing partners. I also want to thank my colleagues in the council. Last year, in our first year, we did it as a pilot. And as Steve knows, we were hanging by a thread there. And in the second year, this year, all of my city council uh, colleagues voted to invest funds so that this, could, this project could be done citywide. And I so much appreciate my colleagues for that, two of whom are here, Councilmember Grotchek and Inez Baer, and I really appreciate their coming out today. And the Progressive Caucus, uh, who made this one of their top budget priorities. It just means so much. You know, when I first heard about this um, issue, what I learned was that 80,000 students, 80,000 voter registration cards actually do go to students with their high school diploma. And my
my joke at that time was that I hope they at least, when they were throwing them away, would put them in recycling. Um, but now we're doing something serious. With this chancellor, with this board of elections, with this campaign finance board, um, with this New York Immigration Coalition as great partners, we're actually going to get kids registered to vote and their voice is going to be heard this year and it's going to be heard loud and clear. So thank you so much for enabling that to happen. Thank you. Uh, I would very much like at this time to actually invite Mike Ryan to come up and say a few words from the Board of Elections. Thank you very much. And yes, this indeed today is the beginning of the culmination of Council Member Rosenthal's dream. We were here last year. Uh, some of you were here, many of you were not. The crowd behind me is, is also much bigger. I was fortunate last year to uh, serve as a presenter at a school in Brooklyn. I can tell you that was a rewarding experience. And as this process grows, I'm certain that the City Council is going to need more presenters. Uh, and so. Feel free to volunteer to do that. Um, I have a message to, today for the young people, and it's three words. It's expect, demand, and participate. Expect that you will work hard. Expect that you will achieve. Surround yourself with like-minded people. Demand. Demand that of yourself, but demand it of your leaders. Demand that your leaders will treat each other civilly will work for the, for the common good, will work hard, and that they will achieve, and also participate. Participate in your school, participate in your community, and participate in the election process. Because the first two parts don't mean anything if you don't do the last leg of the three-legged stool. So my last little bit of advice to the young people today is do not fall victim to the false failure trappings of cynicism. Maintain that positive outlook on life. Maintain your optimism. Work hard. You will succeed. This country has been doing it for over 200 years, and you can do it too. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. We actually have a young person who's going to come and speak, but this is what politicians do. So, got to get back to hearing. Right. So I'd like to invite my colleagues, Council Member Mary Grazichek from Queens. Thank you, Helen. Good morning, everybody. I'm, I'm delighted to be here with such a wonderful group of people. This morning, I'm a Democrat with a small D, uh, as we all are today. Uh, there is nothing more important for the safety of our democracy than registering to vote and actually getting off your tuchus and getting out to vote. <laughs> it's a technical term. It's a technical term. <laughs> My campaign this past summer, which was successful, engaged dozens and dozens of young people for the first time, they worked, they knocked on doors, they made phone calls, they did all those things that all of us do to have to run a campaign. So this Friday morning, Chancellor, I will be at one of my favorite schools, at Benjamin Cardozo High School, where my son is a member of the class of 14, and he's actually this morning, he wants to be a high school history teacher, so he's observing this morning, as he's done for the past week or two, and he knew that I was going to be in the school actually before I did, because my schedule over there is very, very efficient. It is critical that we vote. I cannot say this in any stronger terms. I'm a young person. Still young, right? <laughs> I, grew up, I grew up in New York City public housing, and my building produced not only a city councilman, but two judges, one in San Diego, one in Maine. Gary Ackman, the congressman, 15-term congressman, lived across the street, and Senator Al Walden, who was also a congressman for a short period of time, lived 100 yards away from me. Why? Because their parents took them to vote. So I implore not only the young people, but the parents have to be involved also. They've got to get off their own collective tuchuses and get out to vote. Thank you. We are going to be successful. I look forward to seeing hundreds and hundreds of young people this Friday morning, bright and early, I am told, uh, to get them to register to vote. Thank you for being here today. Thank you, Helen.
important and that they have an opportunity to help shape the future. I remember when I was in elementary school many, many, many decades ago, and we had at that time a very progressive teacher who made sure that we had a class government, a class structure of executives who were involved in making decisions. And we actually made decisions in fourth grade as to how we thought things should op operate in our classes as well as in our school. When I became a principal, I made sure that all of our teachers, in fact, had that kind of, the same kind of structure. Sorry. Oh, yeah. And that as our school, we had a student government, a fully functioning student government that was involved in everything that we did through the course of that school year. So we know that it's very important that our students have these young, students have these young exposures to being involved in government, that they see that there's an opportunity to continue to expand on that on the larger level of city government. So I'm pleased to stand here to say that I support all of the folks who are here moving in this involvement, and I want to commend my colleague for bringing this forward. Thank you so much. proud to be joined by several of our key community partners who are going to be doing outreach in every single city council district. And in fact, we have a representative from one of them today. We have Mirna Haider, who is from the Arab American Association of New York, doing great work down in Bay Ridge. So please welcome Mirna. Thank you, everyone. Today, the Arab American Association of New York is honored to be standing among all of you as one of the selected community-based organizations to serve for Student Water Registration Day. Us alone will be registering and reaching 900 students at Fort Hamilton High School in Brooklyn Bay Ridge. Of those, many are Arab and or Muslim students facing Islamophobia daily. We look forward to meeting and engaging them, each and every one of them, in both local and national elections. We look forward to encourage them to stand up and be heard during this election in every election. It is time that young people in my Muslim and Arab community represented me and put end to hate and Islamophobia by being civically engaged. Thank you for this great opportunity to tell our youth, you count and you matter. I am looking forward for this Friday. I'm looking forward to speak to all of these young Arab and Muslim students. Thank you. has been a champion on voter rights, in particular uh, young people's voter rights, and I'm delighted that he's here to say a few words. Good morning, I'm Councilmember Ben Kalis. I chair the Committee on Governmental Operations with oversight over the Board of Elections, the Campaign Finance Board, and the Voter Assistance Commission. And Student Voter Registration Day couldn't be closer to my heart. It is uh, something that on in my office since before I got elected. We've been running around the city, going to high schools and saying, do you have voter registration forms? And all too often the schools say, what's a voter registration form? Why do we need them? And so we've delivered hundreds and hundreds of these to high schools all over the city. And uh, as soon as I got elected, we started working together with Helen and others to try to see what we could do. And we've introduced the Young Adult Voter Registration Act that would actually uh, put Student Voter Registration Day into law. Uh, it would require the city board, sorry, the state, the Board of Education to uh, distribute the materials during class instead of uh, just handing it to people when they graduate. And uh, Helen's resolution, which we just heard on Student Voter Registration Day, would actually mandate the day, which is coming up. It is March uh, 25th. March 25th. <laughs> Student Voter Registration Day, March 18th. Sorry. March 18th. This Friday. Uh, this Friday. Uh, th this Friday. Yeah, and go so, to school this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and taken together, it could have a huge impact. And so let's just talk about the impact. Right now, our city, our state, ranks last amongst the country. We're in the bottom, four, I think we're 46 or 49, it depends. Yeah. But that's not a distinction the city wants. So let's just think about this. So we have 1.1 million children in our public schools, around 80,000 seniors. And so if we just take that for perspective, uh, in a city of 8.4 million, we only have about 4.6 million registered voters, and the people who decided the current mayor were less than a million. So what if, over the next 10 years, we registered every single one of our public school students 
all of a sudden the number of public school graduates would outnumber everyone else in the electorate. And 18 to 26 year olds would have a say and hopefully they'd want to support public education. So the best thing we can do for public education or some of the things that everyone else cares about like affordable housing or jobs, the best thing we can do is register our high school seniors as they uh, graduate, as they turn 17 and 18. Uh, one key thing for everyone to know, you can register to vote before you turn 18. I'll repeat that again, you can register to vote before you turn 18, you can register when you turn 17, as long as you are turning 18 that year. And so we're hoping to get 17-year-olds registered, we're hoping to get 18-year-olds registered, and we're hoping to turn out the vote this year. And this year, there are four opportunities to vote. So uh, please vote in the primary for president. Please vote in the primary for Congress. Please vote in the uh, primaries in your local district for Senate or Assembly or District Attorney or so on and so forth, depending on where you are. And last but not least, please cast your vote for president in November. That's yeah. and, uh, then after that, keep voting in local elections because there's an election every year. You may not know it, but there's an election every year and you should get in the habit of it. So, pleasure to have the leadership of Helen Rosenthal who's really made this happen and help secure the funding from the City Council. Uh, Chancellor Farina, who's opened the doors to making this happen and expanding this pilot and uh, to the Board of Elections for their cooperation and sending out so many voter registration forms and the Voter Assistance Commission. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. I just want to reiterate, everyone's talking about their own schools. I should know these numbers. So on Friday, I'm actually going to reach nearly 500 students, both at LaGuardia High School and at the Brandeis campus. And I want to reiterate, you know, it's more likely than not going to be the case that my resolution is not even going to be have to be passed into law because the chancellor has been so welcoming and so encouraging about this project. And I really want to thank her again about that. Councilmember Williams, do you want to say hey to your students or do you want to let somebody else speak first? Okay. So I wanted to take this opportunity now to introduce Monica Grant of the Black Institute, which has been a driving force not only for the city's African American community, but also for the city's growing black immigrant community as well. So please welcome Monica. but I didn't understand the, the link between voting and actually getting into the building and getting into the rooms where we can actually make decisions. And so I'm very excited about it personally, more excited about it as an organization, because this is the first step to really change this country and to make this, this country more equal and fair for all. And so I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy for all the organizations that are participating as well. And Friday's going to be an awesome day. Yes. our children will not either. At this time, I'm very happy to bring up someone who is the Youth Poet Laureate for the City of New York. This young person competed in a competition that was voter-themed to win this title, and his job is to go around all five boroughs and to encourage his peers to register to vote, to find their voice in voting. So at this time, I'd like to bring up Nkosi. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nkosi in Kulaleko. Um, so I'd like to say that we all were young ones, playing outside the room where the old folk did their grown-up talk. It was gibberish to us back then, but now we call it rhetoric, political conversation. At this age, it is important to be let inside the room. My generation is compiled of many who question their contributions to their families, their communities, their country, and their world. Student Voter Registration Day is an important moment, a moment when the youth can be 
informed of their power, their ability to influence their surroundings into machine productivity, or possibly more than a machine, possibly reforming the system we all honor. And with this fault, we change into an image we yearn to witness this country as. Student voter registration day is a passing knowledge or an initiation. Time goes, the world passes us by, but while enduring our tenure here as humans, as citizens, I believe it is wise for us to not just be possessed by the system. It is important for us to take the first steps of repossession as active citizens. I am honored to be able to lend my voice to NYC Youth Poet Laureate to call on all New Yorkers to make their mark on, on a form, on a neighbor, on a friend, on this student voter registration day. So, now I'd like to introduce Council Member Jumani Williams, who is very familiar with the power of youth votes and how progressive youth can come into the system and really start to change the system from the inside. So please join me in welcoming Council Member Jumani Williams. Thank you, everybody. Uh, my colleague, uh, Helen, for bringing us all together. This is exciting. Uh, I was actually one of the 18-year-olds that voted as soon as I could. Uh, so I was excited about that. But I know that not a lot of young people are. And I was speaking to the chancellor, and she said the, the, the slogan should be, no vote, no voice. Uh, and that makes a lot of sense to me. Because if you're not voting, you're not using your voice, you're definitely not using it to the fullest potential. And I've actually heard people say, oh, well, I'm not voting because the system is bad, the system is corrupt. I don't fully understand that. Because I hear the same complaints about capitalism, that nobody says don't get a job. Nobody says don't earn an income. But what you have to do is use all the tools that you can to make life better. And voting is a fundamental tool, and one of the easiest tools that we can use locally there are some things that should never happen in New York City but are happening because we may have the wrong people representing us. And that is, if you are, are dealing with issues of justice, criminal justice reform, you're dealing with issues of violence, you're dealing with issues of making sure that our young people are getting education and getting a job, all those things are tied to who is in office. And our young people can have a direct impact on who's in office and deals with these things. And you are involved with politics, whether you like it or not, but when you wake up in the morning and get on the train or the bus, to when you go to school, to when you get a donut, all of those things are related to politics. So be involved as much as you can. I know uh, this is a, a nonpartisan, so but at a national level, there's some bad people running. Uh, we want to make sure that we can impact that. And uh, we know that we have this state is going to be much more impactful than a lot of people thought general elections. So it's very important, and I know some people are very scared about what might, what might happen, but I can tell you voting is easier and cheaper than moving to Canada. So let's get a vote. <laughs> Today, 
Um, we're glad to have the support of the League of Women Voters, which is one of the oldest and most historical organizations. Please welcome the League. everyone. What an exciting day to be here and being able to attend to 60 high schools and being able to register so many young people. On behalf of Dominicanos USA, we are very proud to be here and really participate with so many good government groups. We're going to be at Bronx High School of Science and EA Reynolds Westside High School. So we expect to register more than a thousand students on Friday. So let's give a big applause. I'm sorry to this great team that, you know, the work that has been done here to make sure that every young person is able to register to vote. Muy buenos días, mi nombre es Eddie Cuesta. Estoy aquí en representación de Dominicanos USA con este grupo dinámico que este año, por segunda vez, vamos a estar en 60 escuelas high school y vamos a asegurar de registrar todos esos jóvenes que cumplen 18 años este año. Así que esperamos todo su apoyo y queremos seguir hacia adelante con este proyecto. Muchas gracias. Next, I'd like to introduce Wenny Chin, the Minkwan Center for Community Action. Minkwan leads APA Voice, which is a coalition that represents the Asian American community, the fastest growing immigrant community in New York City. So please join me in welcoming Wenny. by thanking the City Council, particularly Councilmember Rosenthal, the Campaign Finance Board, the New York Immigration Coalition, and the Department of Education for making this year's Student Voter Registration Day possible. Now, high school and college-age New Yorkers have the lowest voter registration and lowest voter turnout rates of all age groups. And Asian youth, in particular, are among the least engaged. Now, for some numbers. We all know that our primary election turnouts are low, but only 15% of all New York City voters have participated in one in the one out of the past three primaries. That is extremely low. And among Asian voters, this rate is 9%, which is way behind. And within the 18 to 24 age range of young Asian voters, this falls to a very dismal 5%. But with 2016's first 